His name is Brad Cohen, a grade two teacher in Atlanta. The life journey that brought Brad to this school is by any measure extraordinary. When Brad was six, he started making strange noises and developed body tics. It drove his father crazy. Okay, quit the clowning. Your brother may think it's what? funny, but I don't. I can't help it. What? Yes, you can. There's nothing wrong with you. The little self-control wouldn't fix. Now stop it. Now she's going to take you home today. You can come Shut back. Shut up. He can't help. Sorry, what did you say? He said he can't help it. Brad's mother, Ellen, was a solid rock of support. My mom um, was the one being my big cheerleader, saying, Brad, it's not a big deal. You can do it. She's sort of a hero for, for sticking it out and not letting people get her down and, and refusing to give up the fight. Brad, come up here, please. It wasn't until he was 10 that Brad's noises and tics were diagnosed as Tourette syndrome, a neurological disorder what? that affects what? more than 200,000 Americans. I know you think you're the class clown, but I've had it with you. And your clowning makes it impossible. Brad's middle school years were a Sorry. nightmare. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to them. The one good thing that came out of Brad's difficult school years was the decision he made to become the teacher he never had. There are so many kids out there that have disabilities or weaknesses. And if we just focus on those weaknesses, then are we really doing justice to children? Oh my God. Oh my God, you're gorgeous. Everybody who worked on Front of the Class agrees. The film is about much more than Tourette's syndrome. It's really about uh, the the victory of um, the human spirit. I think it's about mothers and sons and fathers and sons, and it's about how do families uh, handle great stress and difficulty in their lives, you know, and overcome it. I got a picture of you guys. Newcomer Jimmy okay. Wolk plays Brad Cohen. I hope people can see that he's a normal guy, that he's an intelligent, funny, beautiful, sensitive person who happens to have Tourette's syndrome? Russ Patrick for CBS, Shreveport, Louisiana.